Hey everybody, Jim here, coming to you once again from my apartment here in Tokyo. Uh, I was actually intending to go out and do some filming tonight. It's the Sunday before Halloween, um, but, uh, you know, bad luck, it is now uh, raining cats and dogs, and other various kinds of domesticated animals outside. So if you hear some additional noise in the background, uh, that's what it is. It's just, it's raining uh, pretty damn hard in Tokyo tonight. So I've decided to stay in and uh, have a little something to drink, maybe play some games. Um, but I thought, you know, while I have this time available to me, and I'm not going to use it to go film anything. I might as well sit and talk to you guys. And um, something came up recently. A, um, a topic that I hadn't thought about really until it was mentioned uh, by a friend of mine. While we were, we were out uh, hanging out. But it's kind of... I guess the, the thought was how I feel about living in Japan and living in Tokyo now versus how I felt when I first came here uh, way back in 2010. Um, and I, I was having this conversation with a friend of mine who uh, used to live here as well and um, was gone for a while, came back for a visit, and um, we were, you know, sitting and having a chat, having dinner together. And he was kind of putting it into perspective for me, where it was like he kind of really started to appreciate the kind of lifestyle that he had here uh, after he left. Um, and so he was telling me that he's he's kind of envious that, uh, you know, I'm still living here and working and um, kind of enjoying what Tokyo has to offer. And uh, I kind of started to think about, you know, again, how, how did I feel when I first came here um, nine, almost nine and a half years ago versus how I feel now, how I've gotten so kind of uh, comfortable. Whereas um, when I first came here, uh, it was the summer of 2010. I was in my early 20s. I was in the military. And, I mean, that's a whole different experience in and of itself. It's very different, you know, uh, being here and, like, living on a military base versus just living in the city and, and functioning as, you know, just kind of like John Q. Public. Um, but, yeah, when I first got here, I, I mean, I, I remember when I found out that I had gotten an, an assignment to Japan. I thought that was really cool um, just because, like a lot of other people, I grew up with anime and Japanese video games and things like that and I really enjoyed those things but um, early on in my uh, adult years I had kind of like I still enjoyed video games and uh, anime but to a far lesser extent um, I was more focused on I guess just like working and um, relationships and all that kind of stuff like the, you know the things you think of like adult stuff and then when I found out that I was going to be coming to Japan for a while, um, I was like, okay, wow, that's, that sounds really cool. There's, like, a lot of potential there. And so, like, that's when I started to really, like, get back into video games and um, uh, to anime to, like, a lesser extent. But, like, there were, like, images in my head, like, before I came to Japan and then when I first got here because I wasn't, I guess you could say I wasn't, like, the most... Um, like, culturally enriched person. Like, I wasn't, like, uh, insensitive or anything, but I didn't really know much about, like, actual Japanese society. I had never, like, studied anything about it. I didn't know anything really about, like, the language or, like, culture or anything like that. So I started to look into all those things before I came here, and YouTube was a big help. Um, people have told me that watching some of my videos, um, I mean, it helps them with, I mean, like, when they're game hunting and stuff, but it also, uh, they like to just have, like, the insight of someone, um, who's been in Japan for a while, and I was doing that as well in, like, 2000, late 2009, early 2010, uh, before I came to Japan, just looking at videos, 
on YouTube, people, you know, just um, doing like J vlogging, I guess, and trying to get an understanding for it. But like when I first came here, um, I guess there it was still kind of like um, mysterious in a way. Like um, I was like really concerned with like not um, making any kind of like faux pas. Like I didn't want to like break any like societal rules. I didn't want to look like um, you know oh like some some ignorant foreigner pissing everybody off, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like that was a concern I had, and uh, just having no grasp of the language whatsoever. Like now, like my Japanese still isn't perfect. I'm like, I'm not fluent by like a long shot, but I, you know, I can get by, I'm conversational. I can, I'm not worried at all about being alone in the city or country or wherever, you know, I do okay. But at the time, didn't speak any Japanese and didn't really know how to carry myself. Um, I mean, luckily I had someone who had been here for a long time to show me how to like navigate trains and things like that. But um, I just remember it like, uh, just being super impressed with the city and um, Again not wanting to um, Stick out like a sore thumb or anything like I knew I already stuck out I was like 6-1 and and um, You know and 6-1 uh, not Japanese you, you spot me from like a mile away on the train or wherever um, But I just didn't want to I, I guess for lack of a better term. I didn't want to seem like an asshole to like the general public Um so those were all like big concerns for me. So like I was um, kind of obsessed. Like okay, you gotta follow the rules and you gotta uh, you gotta um, be uh, what, what, like uh, not like sensitive, but you you like my mindset was like uh, just don't fuck up and and uh, you know don't give anybody reason to have like a, a negative opinion of you. And um, that's something that has has changed now where it's like I'm still like of the mindset where like okay yeah like don't be an asshole or anything but I'm not um you know under the because like I didn't think that way like anywhere else right like when I was living at home in, in the states or I guess when I was like living in Germany or going to other places around Europe like I wasn't like hyper sensitive about um you know don't uh don't talk too loud, or don't stand in the wrong place, or don't don't sit here, or don't do this, that, or something. Like, I wasn't too concerned with like um, conforming to like I guess like societal norms and stuff. But for what whatever reason, I had the idea in my head that you know, and I you you could say that to like some extent, maybe even to a great extent, Japan uh, Japanese society is you know fairly conformist, but it's not it's not as uh, extensive as I thought it was when I first came here um, uh, eventually like you become when you you're you live somewhere long enough I guess you become uh, comfortable with your surroundings and comfortable with like the people you interact with and things like that so now like whereas before I feel like when I first came here I was kind of walking on eggshells a little bit just uh, hyper aware of what I was doing and saying at any one time for fear of like offending someone um, not so much anymore because I've come to understand that um, I mean uh, Japanese people are people too. I think to myself like would I would it, I don't think that the average person regardless of where they are I mean obviously there are cultural differences, but there are a lot of um, Similarities between people so I feel like would I be like really grossly offended if somebody was like you know, talking on the train? No. Uh, would I be, you know, oh, if somebody, like, um, is, uh, kind of lost or, or, uh, turned around in a, a station or somewhere and they have to ask for help, would I be like, oh, God, this idiot has to ask for help? Like, no. Like, I wouldn't do, like, I feel like you're more of an asshole for, like, judging people negatively for those, like, very, very minor infractions versus that person for doing it like it's it's way worse to be like uh judgmental um especially of a person who's like out of place so kind of like my general um mindset now is is that if i feel that way probably a lot of people feel that way because um i don't think that i'm i'm all that different from just any other person on the street i i um uh, so I don't ascribe like that level of like judgmentalness and like condescension to like everybody around me. Whereas before I, I kinda I kinda feared that that was the case. Like, okay, in like the mindset was like, okay, uh Japan, um very like efficient uh 
tightly run, um, you know, kind of conformist society. Don't, you, you know, you shouldn't step out of line and you, you shouldn't, uh, um, you know, uh, make yourself stand out or anything like that. Like, those were, like, concerns of mine. I didn't want to look like the asshole, like, douchebag foreigner. And, oh, everybody's going to, uh, you know, look at me and judge me and stuff like that. I don't, I don't feel that way anymore. Um, so, uh, I guess just, like, my level of comfort uh, has gone up. Um, after living in Japan for know, roughly nine and a half years, it'll be it'll be ten years um, next summer. Um, so like I feel more comfortable with my surroundings, not just because I can understand and, and speak the language better, but just like um, being around people and just kind of like functioning like in the the society. Um, I, I just, I feel better about that now. I don't have, uh, like, all those assumptions I, I made, they all kind of went away, and, um, I think a lot of that also just has to do with, like, um, all the socializing I've done since I've been here. Um, I don't, I, I kind of have been, like, pulling back on the, the partying a little bit, uh, in recent, uh, years, say in the past year or two, but, um, for, you know, uh, most of my time in Japan, um, most weekends I like to go out, and if I'm not going out with a group of friends, I'll just go by myself, and just, uh, you know, because you're going out and you're drinking, and you're, it's a social, you know, um, environment anyway, so just, like, drink and say hi to people, and, and just, like, have a good time, and that's, I think that's one, you know, something that helps me understand, like, um, because what is it they say, like, uh, drunk words or like sober thoughts. So like when you're out drinking with like various people and you're you're you know Everybody's just like happy and friendly and nobody's like really uh, Being judgmental or dickish towards each other. That's Really how they are all the time. It's just more exaggerated now that everybody's drunk. So I just assume that most people I interact with um, Internally, they're they're not all that dissimilar from me um, I like to think that I'm not a judgmental person, that I'm not a condescending person, and that uh, most stuff, I just kind of like let it go. I don't sweat the small stuff. And I feel like most people are, are probably at least uh, kind of similar. Um, so yeah, I, I feel much more comfortable with my surroundings, and I feel much more comfortable being me, uh, you know, just around, uh, other people, whoever it is, whether they're strangers or people I know, um, I don't feel so, um, so, uh, I'm, what's the word I'm reaching for? I don't, not, not so out of place, but not so, um, I don't know, I just don't feel like, uh, like I have to, uh, mind my P's and Q's so much. Wow, that's a, I don't think I've ever said mind my P's and Q's in my whole life. But that, that's kind of how I feel now. Like, I it, first, uh, when I first got here, I definitely did feel that way. Kind of the walking on eggshells, I better mind my P's and Q's kind of mentality. Now I just feel kind of like, meh, whatever, you know. It's, uh, it's a city, it's people, and uh, it's not all that dissimilar from other cities and other people. Um, but it, that being said, like, I do still love uh, the city. I love Tokyo. I love living here. I, it's still fun to go exploring and, and just sort of hang out and everything. Um, but it's not so, uh, mysterious to me anymore. Um, so I, I'm a lot happier now, I can say that much. Um, kind of just functioning in Japanese society versus, you know, living in the, the gated community that is a, uh, uh, a military base and, um, kind of venturing out and getting the city in sort of small doses. Um, you know, now I feel like I'm just like another cog in the machine. I get up, get on the train, go to work, and, um, you know, pay my bills, pay my taxes, and, uh, what was once kind of mysterious and intimidating to me is now just, uh, the day-to-day -day life, but it is still fun and, uh, exciting, and, um, always, uh, you know, learning something new, finding new places, meeting new people, I still really, um, enjoy, uh, living here, and uh, all the experiences that come along with that, but I'm far less uh, intimidated by by the whole idea of it. Um, and I, I feel like uh, I function uh, as more or less as most people do. Uh, I uh, live my my day to day. I uh, yeah, again, I don't uh, don't bother anybody, but I don't uh, look upon other people with you know 
kind of condescension because sometimes, like I see, you know, especially now the rugby world uh, championships are going going on and everything, and the next year with the Olympics it'll be even more so. But I see plenty of, of tourists, you know, where they're there, whatever they're doing, like things that uh, when I first got here I was told not to do, like you, you better be quiet on the train and uh, don't um, uh, uh, don't bother people by doing this or that or don't be so thirsty. People don't want to see running around with cameras and yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I don't, I don't look at like uh, people like, oh man, they're talking on the train. Oh man, they're, they're you know they're bugging people. Oh man, they're standing on the wrong side of the escalator and stuff. Like, it's uh, it's not so hard to have a level of understanding. We're like, oh, okay, they're kind of out of their element. They don't necessarily, um, you know, I guess know all the rules, quote unquote, because none of these things are like real like rules. I mean. It, get on the train at like 11:30. Everybody's talking, everybody's chatting, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, uh, that I guess that would be maybe a little bit of advice I have for other people. Like, obviously, you want to be like conscious of sh your surroundings and people. You don't want to be like grossly offensive or anything like that. You want to be a total asshole. Um, but at the same time, don't assume that uh, everybody is like looking at you and judging you all the time. And I don't want to be the asshole foreigner that did this or that or the other thing. Uh, just, you know, carry yourself like the normal, decent person that I'm sure you are, um, and don't, um, don't, uh, you know, convince yourself that, um, Japanese people are somehow, like, you know, less accepting or, um, you know, more, uh, easily offended or, you know, than they actually are, um, because nine times out of ten, that's not really the case. Most people are doing what you're doing. They're going about their daily lives and they don't really give a shit what you're doing or saying or anything. Uh, so, yeah, again, I mean, don't go out of your way to be a dick. Um, but, uh, you know, generally speaking, don't worry about um, how out of place you might be. Um, because, in reality, most people don't give a shit. You're not a, you're not a fucking space alien. You're just a person who's somewhere where you weren't before, I guess. I don't know, I guess that's how I'll put it. You're somewhere where you weren't before. Okay, big deal. So definitely how I feel about uh, living in Japan and in Tokyo in particular is very different from how I felt uh, almost 10 years ago. And uh, I feel a lot better. Uh, it's far less intimidating. It's a lot more fun and... Uh, yeah, a lot more freedom, obviously. You know, when you're in the military, they can impose, like, curfews and tell you you can't go here and there and everything else, and it, it sucks. Um, so I'm much happier just being John Q. Public, uh, just functioning in society. That's way better. Um, I don't know. Was that kind of long-winded? I feel like it was. Um, but I hope I hope it, some of that makes uh, sense. I probably repeated myself, like, way too many times. Um, but I hope that makes sense. I hope that gives people some kind of insight. Um, you know, just knowing how I felt from the starting point to where I am now. Um, different, but still kind of the same. Still having fun. Still impressed with the city. Still enjoying exploring the country and uh, new um, kind of like uh, picking up new, like I guess, uh, little bits of culture here and there. Um, but not so intimidated. And um, not so worried about... Um, causing offense or standing out or anything like that. All of that has kind of gone out the window. And uh, I function here pretty much how I function anywhere else now. Uh, it's not really a concern to me. And uh, I feel better for it. Uh, anyway, um, I hope everybody enjoyed listening to that. That was kind of kind of rambly a little bit, I feel. But uh, yeah, what, what can you do? Uh, I wanted to talk, and I didn't have anybody here with me to talk to right now. Uh, so I talk to the microphone, which in turn lets me talk to you, and you can't put a price on that, can you? Uh, so thanks everybody for listening. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this gives you a little insight on how uh, I function here and how you could as well. Um, so yeah, thanks for listening everyone. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, if you got questions, throw them down there because I'm probably going to do some more uh, videos just like this. And I always love addressing questions uh, from you fine people. Uh, if you have any comments, especially if you live in Japan and have lived here for a long time, how how different do you feel now versus when you first got here, if at all? I'd like to know. So uh, thanks, everybody. Uh, take care. I shall see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>